guys, we finally find uh, the issue. So, as I said, you know, we're going to have to replace the motor. So I just took um, the end of the, um, the electric uh, brushless motor and um, I don't know whether you can see that properly. This, um, this little cog right here, these bits and pieces have been stripped off um, this cog here and that's meant to go in there like that <coughs> and um, it should uh, go on to the um, onto the final drive um, to drive the um, the driving sprocket on the excavator but um, as you can see you know we're going to have to replace the motor and uh, so we finally, after a couple of hours, uh, taking everything apart and figuring it all out, we've come up with the um, with the issue that we need fixing. So it's been an interesting exercise, and um, yeah, a great learning curve. So I know exactly what to do next time. Make sure that um, you know your bearings are, are lubed well. You know, do some regular maintenance on your machine. Make sure your tracks are, um, are all flexible. Every moving part is is moving, and uh, you won't have this issue. Your motors will last um, a reasonable length of time. So, just general maintenance, and uh, all should be good.